Hey there, Louis Acabellis here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create tasks in Tasks by Planner and To Do from channel posts and instant messages in Microsoft Teams. Now, before we get started, if you find this tutorial helpful, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on the latest Microsoft Teams tutorials. Now, let's go ahead and let's get started. Now, before I show you how to actually create tasks from channel posts and instant messages, I did want to call out that what I'm about to show you is a recently released feature. And I do have another tutorial that shows you how to do the same thing using Microsoft Power Automate. Prior to this new feature being released just a little while ago, uh, you actually had to use Microsoft Power Automate as a workflow tool to actually be able to create tasks from messages, whether channel posts or chat messages and push them over into tasks by Planner and To Do. Looks like Microsoft listened to the thousands of users that were asking for this feature on User Voice, which is the forum that you can actually go to request that new features be added to Microsoft Teams. And this is definitely easier than trying to set up a flow in Power Automate to actually handle this scenario. So let's go ahead and let's look at how to create tasks from channel posts and instant messages using this recently released feature uh, using only out of the box Microsoft Teams functionality. All right, so the first thing that you want to do is you wanna to navigate to the post tab of the team channel that your particular uh, post that you want to turn into a task exists in. In this case, I am in the general channel of my finance team. And what I want to do is I want to create a task from this post that reads update project financial data. Next, what you want to do is you want to hover over your channel post and click on the more options button. And you want to scroll down and click on more actions. And what you should see now, if you've received this feature in your Microsoft Teams desktop application is you want to go ahead and click on this create task button. Now what that is going to do is that's going to bring up this task card. And the first thing that you can do is you can actually update the name of this task. So you'll notice that it automatically took the subject of my channel post here and just added that as the task name. Okay. Uh, and I'll just throw in ASAP, for example, to demonstrate that you can update this. The next thing that you want to do is you want to actually select which plan uh, in tasks by planner and to do you want this task record to be created in. Okay. Now by default, it is going to show up in tasks. And if I click on this little drop down, essentially what this represents is if I leave this task in tasks, that is the place in tasks by planner and to do where you can track your own individual task assignments separate from task assignments that get created in the context of a team. Now, given that this channel post was part of my finance team, I'm going to go ahead and expand the finance team here. And you can see that I already have one task board in this team called Tasks General. Okay, and I'm just gonna go ahead and click on this. And that is going to allow me to actually create this task record uh, in my shared planner board uh, in this particular team. Now you'll notice that when I selected this particular uh, task board, some additional fields popped up, okay? And specifically the additional fields that popped up are the buckets or the groups or categories that I have set up in that task board. So you can see that I'm organizing my tasks in this shared task list uh, in the categories of invoice processing, month end and reporting. I'm just gonna leave this in you know, invoice processing for now. Next, you can go ahead and update the status if you wanted to, okay? Uh, I haven't started this, so I'm just gonna leave it as not started. You could also update the priority if you wanted to, so this is important, and I'll just update that field uh, to important. You can actually set a due date if you wanted to, and so I'll just go ahead and put this for a few days out. And if I wanna go ahead and assign this to somebody, I can do that, uh, and I'm going to assign this to myself, for example. Now, what you'll notice in the actual task notes is it actually just copies the content from the channel post, including who created it, okay, uh, the actual uh, team, and then the channel, and the date and the time that this post was created. And you can see here uh, the subject line 
and you can see here the actual content of that channel post and it also includes a link so you can easily link back to that particular channel post. Now, the other cool option that you have here is you can actually post a reply to that channel post indicating that you've created a task, okay? And if you don't wanna do that, you just wanna uncheck this option. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it checked. Uh, and last but not least, you wanna go ahead and click on add task. And now if I scroll down, what you'll see here is my original channel post and a reply has actually been added showing that a task record has been created. Uh, and what's really cool is I can easily just click on view details and that's going to bring me right into tasks by planner and to do. And it's going to go ahead and pull up the actual task card uh, in case I wanted to either add additional context or attachments or amend any of the original details provided. Now what you'll also notice is the actual comment was added as well, indicating when this task was created. So that's another handy little feature. So that is how to create a task in Tasks by Planner and To Do from a channel post. Now we'll go ahead and have a look at how to create a task from an instant message or a chat message. So what you want to do is you wanna go ahead and click on your chat icon and you wanna to navigate to the chat uh, that has the message that you would like to convert into a task record. And what I am going to do is I'm going to go ahead and convert this message here that reads, can you please email Fred and ask for approval to proceed with the purchase into a task. And this time uh, I'm actually just going to add this as a task in my own task list, not a task list that is in the context of a team. And the steps are exactly the same. You want to hover over the message. You want to go ahead and click on the more options button. Then you want to click on more actions. And again, you want to click on create task. And again, you'll see here that the card is exactly the same. Now this time, I'm just again going to leave this in the default tasks, which is my own individual task list. And I'll just go ahead and click add task. Okay, and you'll notice that no reply was posted here, unlike what we saw with the actual channel post. And now I'll click into tasks by planner and to do, just to demonstrate that the task record was actually created. And I'm going to click into my task list here. And what you are going to see is that chat message that I just converted into a task record. And if I click on it, I can bring up the task card and see the full details. And again, you'll notice um, this is also going to display where this content came from. So this was from me in a chat with Diego uh, on this date and time. Okay, and again, there's an actual link that you could copy and paste into a browser, for example, uh, in order to actually bring you back into that particular location. So that's it. This was just a quick tutorial showing you how to create tasks in tasks by planner and to do from channel posts and chat messages using this recently released feature uh, completely out of the box. Uh, again, I do have another tutorial showing you how you can replicate this functionality using Power Automate if you're interested in learning how to use Microsoft Power Automate. Otherwise, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Uh, if you did, please hit that thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on the latest Microsoft Teams tutorials. I'm Louis Yacobelis. Thanks for stopping by. Talk soon.